Um, hi, my name is Rafe. I am a second year student here in Plovdiv. I'm studying dentistry um, and it's going really well so far. So my favourite topic is probably anatomy. Um, that's because it's a very hands-on subject, it's a very traditional style of teaching. Um, so a lot of students, what they'll find is in, in the UK it's very, um, you know, uh, book-based and, you know, they're doing a lot of um, e even in some universities they have you know, computer-based like virtual kind of things but here in Plovdiv it's very, um, you know, the, you'll get, you go in a room, you'll see a cadaver and you'll be told to put on gloves and do your work and it's, it's quite fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied. Um, obviously sometimes you get odd lecturers who, you know, that aren't very interesting, really this content, but in general you find that everyone can speak English. It is very helpful in general towards students. Um, so, um, getting flights back to England is not as bad as it seems. There's two airports, so there's one in Sofia and one in Plovdiv. Um, Plovdiv, you have sites, flights from Stansted, um, and they are, I think, three times a week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Sofia is pretty much every day. Um, and they go all over England, so Manchester, um, Gatwick, uh, any, any, Birmingham, anywhere, pretty much anywhere in England, main, major cities. Um, flights don't really cost that much, they cost between £40 to uh, £90 um, in general, uh, depending on how early you book them, um, you can get some cheaper flights, some more expensive flights. Um, so um, you get holidays, there's many holidays in between. Uh, like Bulgarian holidays, like there's one coming up next week, which will be like a Thursday, like a Thursday night, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So in those kind of small weekends, people you should go back. But in general, you get Christmas off, you get Easter off, and obviously summer. Um, people, depending on you know how they are, whether they fit in or not, or whether you know, obviously some people are attached. So um, some people go back quite a lot. In my personal um, experience, I go back uh, maybe in between a semester and at the end when like, for example Christmas holidays um, and uh, holidays last like for example Christmas holidays for me lasted three weeks um, so it was a good experience and you know, I went I went and then spent some good time at home and came back for my exams and stuff and then there's a holiday at the beginning of February as well kind of like an end of exam before the semester holiday and that's a very kind of um, relaxing kind of vacation because you don't have exams and you haven't started the semester so it's right in between it's quite good. So getting a loan here was a bit of trouble from our year because of the year above. I'm not too sure what happened with the whole process, but um, they refused giving loans to students. Um, so it was a bit of a struggle. Obviously, my parents have to fund me in that case. Um, getting student loans from England is also not possible. Uh, although this is a, it is a cheaper country, we still are students at the end of the day. Um, you know, getting funding is, is, also, is always beneficial. I'd say the best thing is the fact that you're in a different country, you know, there's, there's so many opportunities. It's a beautiful country, so, you know, I've done quite a lot of touring, I've been to Sofia, I've been to Plevin, I've been to Varna, um, Istanbul, Turkey is very close, Greece is very close. Um, so, you know, touring the country, going, you know, exploring stuff is very, it's a, something, it's an opportunity that everyone should take. Um, the worst thing I'd say is um, the difference in language. Uh, Obviously, English speakers, uh, it's for English speakers, it's a very difficult language to pick up. Um, and the fact that the majority of people don't speak the language is, uh, you know, gets, gets a bit difficult. If, obviously, depending on how fast you learn as well. Um, I'd say learning the language is probably the most difficult thing. Um, so, in general, transport and um, Transports and food and stuff is, is in general a lot cheaper than England. For example, taxis over here uh, cost literally 10 times less the price in, in, than they would in London or something, for example. Accommodations is, uh, once again, um, it would be in general, if you're getting a private accommodation, uh, it'd be around 200, 250 euros per month. Whereas in London, um, it's like 200 pounds a week. Um, 
So it's it's a lot cheaper living expense here. Um, travel is obviously you can get around anywhere you want. Buses are very cheap. Um, the food places there are there are many food places. A lot of people have problems, you know, with um, special food requirements. Uh, in general, you can find you know all different types of uh, food here. People who have allergies, there are some allergy shops. Um, you know, the, there's some allergy sections in, in like loads of supermarkets that will provide pretty much any kind of uh, food. Um, and also requirements like halal food and stuff, that's also um, available. Atta is very traditional. Um, so, you know, you have your very kind of get down, knuckle down kind of uh, teachings. Like I said earlier, in anatomy and stuff, it's very, it's very hands-on. In dentistry as well, it's very like, um, obviously in dentistry we have a lot of practical work, which you obviously you do in England, but it's a very different kind of practical work. Um, so you, you know, you're making soaps, you're getting very like hands-on, increasing your manual dexterity. Um, so it's in that case, I guess it's uh, it's a good thing. Um, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's some some people might see it as a struggle because um, because of the way it's taught. But in my personal opinion, I, I quite like it. I organise the foundation myself, but there's a very helpful um, uh, estate agents who will help you answer. So there's, uh, in general, you have exams at the end of the semester uh, or in January, but throughout the year you get mini tests which kind of um, build up towards these exams. So if you get exempt um, in these small exams, it will help you in the final exam. So the exemption is basically, for, for example, in anatomy, you have, you know, you, you study a structure and then you have a mini test on it. Uh, these mini tests, they, um, uh, they're kind of like, if you get above 90%, then you're, you're exempt from that mini test kind of thing in certain areas. So for example, if you have, if you have a multiple choice section and a uh, practical section, you'll get exempt from the practical section and then by the end um, of your, in your final anatomy exam, you'll have, you, you won't have to do that practical section again, um, which is very helpful and it's very motivating as well for students to achieve, you know, achieve a target, then they don't, you know, they don't have to do it again. And it's, it kind of, puts everyone at a, at a level that they should be um, because if you know some people get lazy and you know, they, they don't study throughout the year and then it piles up on top of them and then they realize you know it's, it's too much to you know cope with um, so it's a very good system but the problem is that you know the frequency is quite a lot you'll have like three anatomy in a semester three anatomy exams um, three physiology three biochemistry so and, you know nine exams that's like an exam every week um, so it does pile up but uh, I guess it's a good way of kind of having time off at the end. Um, yeah, you, you do feel homesick, um, especially when you come back from a long holiday or something. But the community has, it's, it's a lot better than you'd expect. There's a lot of British students, um, uh, so finding friends and you know, settling in, fitting in, it's, it's not really a problem. And you'll find that everyone else is in the same boat. So that also makes you feel kind of better. In my year, so in dentistry, there's about 90 students altogether, so about 60, 70 of them are British. Um, when I first arrived, once again, I was surprised to see how many British students there were. Um, and you know, I settled in quite well. There's uh, all the first, everyone's you know, everyone's ready to you know mingle and you know, see how everything is. So I guess in, in that sense, it's quite nice. It's quite welcoming.